we're just about to ride into Ocracoke, I guess Ocracoke City. And these guys said it was biking distance. It's like five miles for crying out loud. Lori's doing her recycle thing and we're off to Ocracoke. We have a, <laughs> arrived at the Ocracoke Lighthouse. The significance of this lighthouse is that it's white and has a black top. It actually, I think, is the second oldest lighthouse in the, in the area US in the U.S. Operates. that still operates. Okay, I'm just getting fed this stuff from other people, so if the information's wrong, you'll have to blame them. But and second oldest operating lighthouse in the U.S. And the light never turns off. And the light doesn't turn off. It's just like a, a 360 light that just, it's not one of those ones that spins around or anything. It just stays stationary and stays lit. So, kind of cool. Okay, so this thing was originally, or actually there was a, the original lighthouse was here in 1798, but they put it out where the storms could get to it and the storms tore it down. This one was put in in 1823 to replace that one. And it's been in operation ever since. They said it's 75 feet tall or 85 feet tall, something like that. Wow, that's not a nice thing to say about their own kids. <laughs> Damn. We are now out on some Jim Stevenson nature trail. I truly believe that Kevin and Laura may be bringing us out here to kill us. If you get this video and haven't seen us in a while, just hunt them down. Their RV has an awning. And you'll be able to, that'll be able to find it from that. We're just down for the lighthouse. So if we don't return, you guys will know where to find us. Our bikes are up in the rack. Ours are the Walmart bikes. So this is the end, guys. I'm gonna need you to get in. <laughs> it's really cool down here. Oh yeah, well. Yeah. <laughs> there, there's some lotion for you. Yeah. <laughs> it puts its lotion on. Yeah, exactly. And then see the graveyard. I don't know. I'm not feeling it. All right. Bye, guys. It was nice, nice knowing you. <laughs> oh, I left. I left. I left Lori behind. Sorry about that. <laughs> the sacrificial lamb. Wow, oh, this is pretty cool. If we go out into the left, it'll pick the trail back up over there. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this on video or not, but there's this crab down here and he's got his little crab buddy and he's trying to escape with it, but all the fish are attacking it. All these little fish. Oh, now there's only one fish left over because he got into a really tight spot. There's another crab. Oh, and there's another crab coming in too. And I think he's gonna help try to eat it. So it looks like this crab is cannibalizing this other one. And then the fish are trying to get their, their share and then this other, other crab up over here, he's gonna come in and get some too. The circle of life. That's crazy. Whoa! raccoon wood carving. Somebody had some time. Seems, Very cool. No, I seen the wildlife around. <laughs> yeah, it just naturally did that. It's a what do you call it? petrified raccoon. <laughs> okay, this is the Ocracoke Lighthouse here. 
It's uh, six and a half feet tall. The light is a 12 volt bulb. You can see it for a block. Oh, huh. There you go. There's a boat for us. How you doing, guys? Hey. Hey, where do we get one of those? Not the golf cart, the candy. Our biker gang rolling into town. This is an Ochre Coke traffic jam. in the little town of Ocracoke at a place called Smacknally's. I think that's what it's called, something like that. Smacknally's. Pretty cool. It's the taco boat. I'm feeling, I'm feeling kind of up. I think I'm going to go to the backyard. Oh. Like, that's got to be terrible. Something we read somewhere near the visitor center said we should take a nice stroll down Howard Street. But what we found weird and somewhat morbid about Howard Street is all of these graves are all along the street. Check this out. Holy smokes. So I don't know if Howard Street has something to do with this person, Howard, but there's like all of these gravestones. Now we're starting to see why this is called Howard Street. Which is gonna send me down the Google spiral finding out what Howard Street is really all about. Solomon Howard. Love Tolson Howard. I'm assuming that all of these are maybe children's graves or something. 1878 and this one Robert Howard here obviously got the Confederate flag on there so maybe has something to do with the Confederacy. Very cool. Yeah, didn't you say that they su succeeded? Well, yes. Succeeded. They succeeded in seceding. Yes. Oh, dude, this, thing, this person was like one year old. It's all right. 1879 to 1880. Literally. This one here, gang. 1879 January, to 1880. December. So this was a, a one year old. So I'm assuming some of these are the uh, our children. I wonder if it had to do with yellow fever. Yeah, this is 1862 to 1865. So three years old, so a lot of children and stuff in here. 1852. And then you have these ones that are hidden back in here that aren't even kept up. Like this one here is also a couple of Howard graves. Delia Howard Gold here. I'm assuming a couple of children. Pretty crazy stuff. And then Kevin has found something else up in here. Okay, enough morbid stuff. We need to find a happy place. <laughs> Coffee. There's a happy place. Oh, that's the magic bean. And what is the magic bean, sir? Well, besides Jack coffee and the shop. bean stop. It's just a coffee shop? Yeah. Oh, that's okay. the one where the puppies are. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh, okay. There are dogs Supposedly on the there's a coffee shop here that's like just loaded with dogs. And it's a Airbnb, so if you want to stay out here, you can stay in the coffee shop. Oh, that's cool. So yeah, if you're a coffee person, then Airbnb, coffee, and dogs. If you're an animal person and a coffee person, then it's double jeopardy. It's awesome. And if you're a goth, you just walk out back and there's a cemetery. 
I mean, come on. <laughs> that's awesome. That is, that's it. You can't beat that. <laughs> this is the Ocracoke School. We were told that they have 150 students here or so between K and 12. Or maybe it's K and 8, but I think it's K through 12. So is that the school that you were talking about? Back there? Yeah. yeah. So you said there's how many students total? Uh, 100 and, well, 100 and something. Just make up a number, nobody knows. So 150? 100, yeah. Okay. And then? <laughs> this girl, it's K through 12, and the girl that we met, because they're her graduating class, is seven. <laughs> That's awesome. Seven people. That is what really the cool. Hell? Time to leave the little town of Ocracoke and head back to the campground. You guys ready? He's making faces, isn't he? <laughs> no. Okay. Got a little snake right here on the side of the road. These guys think that I'm gonna get bitten by the snake, but he just took off. See, the snakes are more afraid of you than you are of them. That's not true. We have enjoyed our couple of days here on Ocracoke Island of the Ocracoke National Park. Did a little exploring in town. All was cool. The only access to Ocracoke Island is ferry, both on and off. We took the two hour and 15 minute ferry to get on from Cedar Island. We're now gonna take, I think, a 30 or 45 minute ferry to get off of the island on the other end. That's where we're heading now. Really cool campground. The sites are fairly small. They're just small paved sites, but it was just enough to park the coach. It was the first time we had to hook the, the, the dolly, dolly in, a ride in a long time just because we couldn't fit with the dolly. And you have to have everything on the pavement, so they don't allow you to park on grass or anything like that. Totally understandable. Yeah, you have to have all rubber on the, uh, on the pavement. So we had to unhook the dolly this time. All we did was kind of back the RV all the way into the back of the site. And then I tucked the dolly underneath the side. So it worked out perfect. Yeah. And it was a really cool spot. Right on the other side of this 30 foot dune is where the beach was. That was really cool. We got to spend a little bit of beach time. And now we're gonna head up to Cape Hatteras. Yeah. And that's the last ferry we were gonna take for, for quite a while, so. Now, just for general information, this campground was $28 a night. And if you're military or citizen or a senior citizen or someone like that, it's $14 uh, a day, a night. Right, it is a national park. And the ferry to cross over here was $45 to cross the car and the RV. Yep. Yep. So let's go jump on the next ferry. The next ferry is free. Let's, let's go. go do it. Filled up with water, all done at the dump station, and we're heading to the ferry on the north side of Ocracoke Island to head over to Cape Hatteras. Should be cool. Yes, looking forward to the ferry again. This is a short one, only. An hour. Is it an hour? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was like 30 or 45 minutes. All right, I'm a knucklehead and didn't film this coming in here, but I'll show you guys the area a little bit. We came into the loop. Kevin and Laura up front. Somewhere over there is where we're gonna get the ferry. As soon as one shows up, or maybe that's one of them over there, I don't know. But. I was thinking about having a beach day while we wait for the ferry. We can just pull the chairs and it's right here. Yeah, it's right there. <laughs> beach day. Let's go check out the beach all right let's go you guys are from Dad! South Dakota what you guys are from South Dakota yeah. that's awesome yeah I know somebody from there yeah hey this is the best ferry line ever <laughs> The best one? The best ferry line. Oh, yeah, exactly. Like, you go hang out. Yeah, if you're gonna wait for the ferry, this is how you should do it. Oh, man. 
and then we're going somewhere out there with our RVs, which is just really weird when you think about it. Is that all we're going is right there? Yeah. Oh, never. Like 20, 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Never mind. See, it's not as exciting when you say I'm going over there as when you say, yeah, we're just going right there where the land is. I thought we were going further than that. I thought it was an hour ferry. See, Lori was lying to me this whole time, okay. told me it was an hour. That was a disappointment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get a nap in. We were out playing on the beach when they started loading, so. Damn of years. Damn of years. <laughs> How you doing today, sir? Oh, yeah. oh, you're right. You got it. We're not that far behind. No, we're not. That was the first time we're literally driving with our feet soaking Yeah, sand. driving with our feet soaking wet. We're out goofing around. How you doing today, sir? You got it, sir. Thank you. <laughs> we can just pass snacks. And they put us right beside these guys. What the heck? She's like, turn the RV off. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want some chips? <laughs> what is going on over there? I think we're leaving already. I gotta jump out of here for a second. Are you allowed to? Yeah, you're allowed to get out of your vehicle. Are we allowed to get out on this? I would have said we are. <laughs> It's a one hour boat ride. One hour? One hour. To that little bit of land? We're all hanging out, getting ready to dock. Check this out. Man, that's cutting it kind of close, guys. Waving to everybody. This is pretty cool. But yeah, we still have to go around there and then down along the down along the coast and then over to there. Almost into Frisco, North Carolina. And I'm thinking right over there is where we're gonna be docking. Well guys, thanks for hanging out with us on our boat. Sure. That was awesome. Don't tell anybody we were here. <laughs> it's too late, they're gonna know. <laughs> Dude, this like, looks like we're coming into the Bahamas or the Caribbean. Oh yeah, with the like super bright colors. And boom! Off the one side, like a pinball machine. <laughs> How cool was that? <laughs> <laughs> You'll be lucky if I miss. Thank you, sir. What's that? Oh, that is amazing. This is incredible.
we're set up here at Frisco Campground in Frisco, North Carolina. The sites are not very big, but we fit. These guys, they're going to lunch and they're leaving me. But you can see Kevin's got 35 foot RV. He can barely fit in the spot and fit a car. So if you have a bigger rig, you're kind of out. You guys mind if I come along with you? Uh, yes, we do. <laughs> yes, you do, but you're going to let me anyways? Awesome. Kevin knows where we're going. We're discovering that it's not easy to feed a couple of vegans and a couple of vegetarians here in Buxton in the Outer Banks, especially on a Sunday. Or a Monday. Or a Monday. And Monday, it's impossible for anybody to feed themselves because everything is closed on Monday. So if you come here on Monday, don't plan on eating out. But you can go see a theater show on Ocracoke on a Monday. You can go see a pirate show. They don't do it on weekends, only on Monday when no one's there, which is really Maybe just it's that bad. strange. But the restaurants are closed. But the restaurants are also closed. So that's even weirder. So you can't eat, but they want you to go out to a show. Well, no, and that's like probably restaurants are open. Yeah, that's true. back from dinner did a quick dinner there in Buxton and uh, we had dinner at the sandbar grill not bad pretty good food great views out to the water good so that service. was kind of nice and the service was awesome yeah uh, they really took good care of us didn't kick us out even though we sat and talked for a long time so that was kind of nice and that's it for today we'll catch up with you guys in the morning we're gonna go check out the lighthouse actually go climb the lighthouse this time and Let's just put a bomb Ozzy's the like, shot. he wants to, he's like, I want to be a part of the shot. As I sometimes do, I forget to close out certain videos when we're in certain areas. And that's what I forgot to do on that one there in Cape Hatteras. So this is where we're going to call the video. We appreciate you guys watching. As always, it would be awesome if you subscribe to the channel, stay up to date on all of our travels. It'd be equally as cool if you liked the video. And we'll see you again soon in another one. Take care. Bye now.